Welcome back to another episode here in our survival single player. This is the Kingdom of Dash, and uh, this episode we are going to be working on a little gatehouse entrance to our town here, which I have come up with a name for. So uh, when I was little, I used to go to this little camp on the lake, and uh, it had a bunch of cabins and a bunch of activities and stuff, and it was called Lakeshore, a part of the block palette uh, for this little gatehouse. I want to build it is a uh, gray concrete so that's why I'm getting ink right now uh, but I thought I'd give you guys a little update on the farms we built in the last episode one of them lies right underneath these trees I believe uh, but we can go under there and I can show you uh, all the progress we got I AFK'd overnight we're well, not overnight really I AFK'd for about six hours and uh, within that time we got quite a few resources enough that I am happy with the farm essentially you know not too many but we we got a few uh, and it, I was happy I was delighted to see the resources that we got um, for the sugarcane farm we filled the chest and we filled this chest we also filled the hopper and I was standing here and we also filled my inventory so why is that hopper not feeding oh the hopper is locked it only unlocks whenever something goes into it okay but yeah, so I've got a full shulker, bo shulker box of sugarcane, so I don't have to run that for a while. And then I think we got around five stacks of gunpowder down here, but we can go check uh, just to make sure. All right, let's see. Yep, one, two, three, four, five. Five stacks of gunpowder, just as I thought. So yeah, uh, I'm ha pretty happy with the farm so far. So that's like 15 stacks of tier one rockets from that gunpowder, which is like, you know, half an inventory. So... I'm super pleased with that, um, but I'm going to assemble a our, you know, our block pallet, and uh, then we will probably time lapse uh, me building uh, some of this. So I will see you guys uh, once I've got all the materials, and maybe I'll like do the base of it together, and then we will start the time lapse from there. See you guys in a bit. All right, we have gathered up a bunch of materials. I went to a dark oak forest just that way, barely. Uh, actually, it might be a little bit more that way, uh, but it's across the river into the plains and then to the left. Uh, and I've got some stuff here, and I've made up that gray concrete using some of the gravel we got uh, mining last time and some sand we already had. So let's work on this a uh, bit together. Uh, I thought it'd be cool to add gray concrete to our black palette. I'm not exactly sure how many blocks this needs to go up, but it's quite a few. This is probably going to be almost our tallest point but it'll probably seem like the tallest point um as of now and i should really start wearing those elytra <laughs> but let's take these on up wait one more i think yep and on each of the corners and then from each one so the concrete are five blocks apart and then we've got two you know, oak logs, not oak logs, but dark oak logs. Uh, but really, the block palette is interchangeable, but the structure is very simple. Uh, if y'all would like to build this tower uh, in your world, I definitely suggest it. I think the design is really nice. Um, I used an old flip tower as well as some other inspiration for it, but what I need to do is craft up some stairs just like so so these go up and I actually need to get this and make some walls and I also need to make some fences just like so and let's keep that on us so let's get up here to three up and really four up but I believe there's three blocks and then that so and then this goes up three and then a stair in again so from here goes up one two three four five three four five let's do that here upside down stair two three stair one two three four five so yeah, that's probably going to be our tallest point in the city. Uh, but we will have kind of like a wall attaching here, uh, an archway gate here, and then another tower right here on the edge. 
and we'll probably do uh, not this large gateway, but probably just the wall uh, kind of on the other side of this hill over there where our pathway is and then just maybe a smaller uh, gateway area and we need to start working on this part. Let's get this in here. All right, that's good. Just a little something like that. Uh, but we also need to craft up uh, some cobblestone stairs. So let's do that. Uh, for this part here, we want to do this. And then get the walls and the fences uh, on all the corners. Just like that. Let's fix that. Walls, fences. I didn't bring the bed. And then behind this, we're going to do our kind of medley of spruce and dark oak like we do on all the buildings here this spruce and strip dark oak so like that let's go like so and strip these just like that and you can add some stairs into there as well just for a little bit of uh, differentiation like depth and stuff um, but yeah I'm going to uh, work on these a little bit now and off camera, but we will time lapse it. So I will see you guys when we have got uh, some progress on this, uh, and I hope you enjoy the time lapse. <laughs> guys i hope you enjoyed that time lapse and as you can tell i've done a little bit more work and um yeah so i went ahead and i got this overpass thing worked out and came up kind of with a little design for just the plain wall uh it's very nice it's very basic i like it it's got the stone at the bottom and that on top uh, let's sleep i don't have my thing on me but we're out of acacia wood so i've been trying to grow some more uh, but I threw, you know, these things around pretty much everywhere. This is like a like a cutting board area uh, for fish. So after like a fisherman has, you know, caught some, he can do it there. I want to add like a bunch of those in. Uh, I've also got two stalls. I have a piece of dirt right here still. Scaffolding. Yeah, I've got like these stalls. Like I want to put like item frames down with fish or like uh, like a fruit, like apples and stuff on top of these. Uh, more of this stuff and you know whenever we run out or fill these up we can actually put them in these storage areas that we've got around here which would be really nice 
uh, we don't actually have to build a storage house for it, but we might do that, uh, but we don't have to. So let's put those up, and uh, now I want to sleep, uh, and I want to finish up our tower, uh, our, I want to finish up the whole gateway, so when that's all done, we'll come back and uh, we'll see our final product, but whoa, look at that from right here. I think that looks pretty awesome. All right, guys, I have finished up both towers, and uh, that's what it is looking like. Uh, I'm just picking up some acacia saplings. I had a run out of acacia wood, and I plan to use some more of it here shortly. Uh, so I was farming a bunch right there. I don't know if the trees were there or the saplings were there in the last clip or not, but uh, these are the towers uh, and the gateway, gatehouse area we've come up with. So the towers are based on flips design. Uh, I did this all on my own and I extended the towers. They're a bit different, um, but I did see Flip's video on the gatehouse and uh, I really liked that. So I kind of based it off there with like the block palette with this uh, like column and stuff out of the gray concrete. I think that looks really, really good together in there. Um, I did mess around with making this like stone brick or different concrete or like stone or even cobblestone, but I really think that that gray concrete looks really good and it even extends up to like replace the wood pillar uh, to the top right there. I really like that. Got a nice overpass and we have our sign that says welcome to Lakeshore. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what I want to do next episode. We might work in here and add some more buildings. We might extend the path out there and uh, have like a port for ships and then kind of build. I want to have, I do want to have that eventually. I want to have a pathway that roll meanders through here, you know, uh, cut out some trees or make it stroll through here out to the lake port area. Uh, and I want to have like, like wheelbarrows and stuff like bringing carts and stuff into the city. And I want to have like a couple in here with like uh, resources that have been brought in like this, like these piles of logs There's going to be a lot more stuff like this out there by the actual shipyard. Um, we'll eventually build a ship and we will put it there. Maybe even later we'll build like a ship like way out there like it's as if it's like leaving or coming in but i do want to have uh like a whole port area right here um i don't know if it will span this whole area but we already do have a path that comes out here our mob farms right underneath this yep um but yeah we could bring it all the way out here because this is where uh the other entrance to the city is right here so we will see not exactly sure yet these paths might just meet up and and have like a port area somewhere in the middle uh we will have to plan that out at a later date uh but that's all i got for this episode i hope you guys enjoyed it i really enjoyed making it i think our gatehouse looks amazing let's see it at nighttime real quick um one thing i want to say real quick uh we're gonna leave it in 1.14.4 uh for a while I see no reason to move to 1.15, uh, we would lose the replay mod, right now we would lose shaders, um, and there's no real addition to 1.15 that I like. Uh, so maybe this will move to 1.16 when that comes out, but for now, we are keeping it as a 1.14.4 uh, playthrough. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and my name is Ash, as always, thanks for watching.